गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल आई एम काजल फ्रॉम बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री ऑनर्स फाइनल ईयर इन टूडे सेशन आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड एन ऑडियो लेक्चर फॉर विजुअली इम्पेयर्ड स्टूडेंट फॉर फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री फ्रॉम परदेप्स पब्लिकेशन वॉल्यूम थर्ड बाय डॉक्टर एस सी खेतरपाल सो लेट एस स्टार्ट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड मोलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर इंट्रोडक्शन The various method used for the study of molecular structure may be broadly classified into the following two types: method based upon the study of physical property of the substances such as molecular refraction, paracore based upon the surface tension, optical activities, dipole moment, magnetic susceptibility. Second one, spectroscopic method. such as rotational and vibrational spectroscopy microwave and infrared spectroscopy electronic spectroscopy uv and visible spectroscopy raman spectroscopy and then nuclear magnetic resonance nmr spectroscopy the study of the molecular structure on the basis of the physical property is based upon the fact that the physical property listed above are additive as well as quantitative and additive of a molecule is defined as that the property the total value of which is the sum of the value of it constituent atoms a constitutive property of a molecule is defined as that property which depend upon the constitution of the molecules that is arrangement of the atoms within the molecules and the presence of the multiple bonds rings etc in the molecule spectroscopic methods have already been discussed in last chapter third now in this chapter we shall take up a brief discussion of three important physical properties namely optical activities dipole moment and magnetic susceptibility one by one first of all optical activity definition plane polarized light if a ray of light travel in any direction it has vibration in all direction at right angle to the path of propagation if this light is passed through nicol prism then the light then the light which merges out of the prism is found to have vibration only in one plane this is called plane polarized light the nicol prism thus used is called a polarizer next one optical activity if the plane polarized light is passed through a plate of quartz or turpentine oil or the solution of sugar it is found that in the light that come out the plane of the polarized light get rotated the substance like quartz sugar etc which rotate the plane of polarized light are called optically active substances and the property of a substance to rotate the plane of the polarized light is called optically activity the substances which rotate the plane of the polarized light to the right are called dextro rotatory dexter means right and thus which rotate the plane of the polarized light to the left are called levio rotatory levios mean left the method of observing the rotation of the plane of the polarized light is based upon the following principles if the plane polarized light is passed through the nicol prism which has its axis parallel to the first nicol prism the light passes through the through and brightness is observed through the ips on the other hand if the second nicol prism is placed with the axis axis at the right angle to that of the first prism called crossed position the light is completely cut off and the field of view in the ips is dark at all other position the brightness is less but they may not completely darkness it is it is observed that if the two nicol prism are set of crossed position so that the field of view is completely dark and then the optically active substances is placed between the two prism the field of the view 
become sometime bright and the second prism has to be rotated through the certain angle about the line of propagation of light to get complete darkness again. This clearly show that after passing through the optically active substance, the plane of the polarized light has been rotated. The degree of rotation depends upon the rotation required to be given to the second Nicol prism to get the darkness again. Thus, just as the first prism polarizes the light and is called polarizer and the second prism analyzes the light, then it is called analyzer. Next one. Specific rotation. The degree through which the plane of the polarized light is rotated on passing through the solution of an optically active substance depend upon the following factors. Nature of the optically active substance. Concentration of the solution in gram per liter per ml. Length of the solution that is length of the tube through which the light passes in decimeters. Wavelength of the light used. Temperature of the solution. Thus, if m gram of the substances are dissolved in v ml of the solution, so that the concentration of the solution is m divided by v, give per ml. L is the length of the tube in decimeter and alpha is the angle of the rotation in degrees. Then it is found that the alpha directly proportional to the concentration in gram per ml multiplied by the length of the tube in decimeter is equal to alpha directly proportional m by l m by v into l. So alpha is equal to alpha approaches lambda to t multiply by m into l divided by l where alpha approaches to lambda to t is a constant characteristic of the nature of the substance is depend upon the wavelength of the light used and the temperature of the solution t degree celsius if d length of the sodium vapor lamp light is used and the temperature of the solution is 25 degrees celsius then it is written as alpha d 25 degrees celsius this constant is called specific rotation of the substances now the molar rotation the molar rotation is obtained by multiplying the specific rotation with the molecular weight capital M of the substance and dividing by the resulting result by the 100. To reduce the magnitude of the number, it is usually represented by M approaches from lambda to T is equal to M multiplied by alpha approaches from lambda to T divided by 100. The instrument used for the measurement of the amount of rotation caused by an optically active substances of the substances to the plane of the polarized light is called polarimeter. The principle of this instrument has already discussed. It consists essentially of two Nicol prism, one called polarizer and other one called the analyzer. Both of these are fitted on the opposite end of the same metal tube. However, the polarizer is fixed, but the analyzer can be rotated about the axis of the tube. In between the polarizer and the analyzer, there is a space for keeping the glass tube containing the solution. The glass tube is usually 5 cm, 10 cm, 20 cm or 25 cm and has glass windows on both hands. A circular scale is fixed on the metal tube near the analyzer as shown in this figure. In the process, procedure, first of all, all monochromatic light from the suitable sources, usually sodium vapor lamp, is passed through the instrument without facing the tube containing the liquid or the solution. The light emerging out of the analyzer is viewed through the eyepiece. The analyzer is rotated 
slowly till the field of view is completely dark. This gives the initial reading of the instrument. Now the tube containing the liquid or the solution of known concentration is placed and shuttered closed as shown as not shown in the given diagram. On seeing through the eyepiece, the field of view is no longer found to be dark. The analyzer is rotated slowly till the field of the view is completely dark again. This gives the final reading. The difference between the final reading and the initial reading gives the angle of the rotation alpha. If it comes out to be positive, the substance is dextrorotatory and if it comes negative, it is levorotatory. Modern instruments has numerous improvements over the simple types. However, the basic instruments remains the same. Next one, optical activity and chemical constitutions. Optical activities is purely constitutive properties. That is, it depends upon the arrangement of the atom within the molecule. It has been observed that the Organic compounds which are found to be optically active contain at least one carbon atom to which four different atom or group are attached. Such a carbon atom is called an asymmetric carbon atom and is usually shown by putting a sign of star over it. A very simple example of such a compound is that of lactic acid. Represented below. The lactic acid. It is found that such a compound exists in two forms, one of which rotates the plane of the polarized light to the right and is called dextrorotatory, which form the positive, and the other which rotates the plane of the polarized light to the left is called the levorotatory which forms negative. The two forms have the same constitution. In each form, a symmetric carbon atom is attached to the sum, same four carbon atom or groups, but differ in their configuration, that is arrangement of the atom or group in space. Thus, the two, thus the two forms are Space isomer are called optical isomers. Lee Bell and Ventshoff pointed out the difference in the two forms by suggesting that in case of such molecules, the asymmetric carbon atom is present in the center of the regular tetrahedral and the four atoms of groups attached to it are present at the corner of the tetrahedrals. This gives rise to Two different spectral arrangement which were like the mirror image of each other as shown in this figure. Like this. Like this. In first form, the arrangement form H2OH is clockwise and the another form, the arrangement from H2OH is anticlockwise. Hence, if one of them is dextrorotatory and other is, is the levorotatory. However, by mere inspection of the configuration, it is not possible to predict as to which form is dextro or levio. The two forms are said to be antiomorphous. Antio means opposite, morphe means form. Further, if equimolar quantities of the two forms are mixed together, a third form is obtained which is optically inactive. This is obviously due to the fact that the rotation caused by one form to the right is nullified by the equal rotation caused by the second form to the left. This process is called external conspection and the substance this obtained are called racemic mixture or DL form or positive negative form. This form can be separated into D and L form by the suitable method. In case of compound containing two asymmetric carbon atoms that is tartaric acid, a fourth form is also found to exit. 
in this form the rotation caused by the half of the molecule is compensated by the other half within the molecule as shown in the given figure of tartaric acid this form which is optically inactive due to the internal compensation is called mesoform lastly it may be mentioned that the optically active is found not only in the organic compound containing an asymmetric carbon atom but also in the compound which contain other asymmetric atom like nitrogen sulfur silicon cobalt tin etc further some compounds may not contain an asymmetric atom but are optically active because the molecule as a whole is symmetric that is no plane can be divided the molecule into two identical halves thus it may be concluded that the optical activity is a property related with the asymmetric of the molecules hence the optical activity can be used to test the presence of the asymmetry in the molecule dipole moment general introduction polar and non polar covalent bond a covalent bond is formed by the mutual sharing of the electron between the two atom if the two atom are identical that is in h2 cl2 etc the share pair of electron is attracted equally by both the atom and hence it remains exactly in the center of the two atom as shown below thus neither of the two atom in such molecules acquire positive or negative charge the bond thus formed between the two identical atoms is called non polar covalent bond on the other hand if the two atom are dissimilar that is in the hcl molecule chlorine atom is more electronegative and the h atom and then the h atom hence the electron pair is more attracted toward the chlorine atom then toward the hydrogen atom in other word the share pair of electron is more displaced toward the chlorine atom toward the hydrogen atom as a result the chlorine end of the molecule acquire a slight negative charge while the hydrogen end of the molecule acquire slight positive charge the bond thus formed between the two dissimilar atom having slightly different electronegativities is called polar covalent bond and the molecule is called dipole because of it has developed positive and the negative pole thus the situation of hcl may be represented as shown in this figure 5.6 next one dipole moment of diatomic molecules the extent of polarity of a molecule is expressed in term of the dipole moment which is defined as follow the dipole moment of a polar diatomic molecule is the product of the charge on each end of the molecule and the average distance between the center of their nuclei that is the bond length in general for a polar atomic molecule ab in which atom b is more electronegative than a if plus q is the charge on the end a and minus q on the end b of the molecule and d is the distance between the center of their nuclei then the dipole moment of the molecules ab is given that mu is equal to q into d obviously if the atom is non polar q is equal to 0 hence mu is equal to also 0 third one unit of dipole moment the charge present on the end of the molecule is usually of the order of 10 to power minus 10 issue and the distance between the atom is usually of the order of 10 to power minus 8 cm therefore mu must be of the order of 10 to power minus 10 into 10 to power minus 8 is equal to 10 to power minus 18 esu cm this value is called 1d by after the name of the pankier worker in this field 1d by is equal to 10 to power minus 18 esu cm vector nature of the dipole moment the dipole moment is a vector quantity that is it has both magnitude as well as direction it is therefore represented by an arrow pointing from the positive end to the negative end of the molecule
ट्राइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ ए पोली एटोमिक मोलिक्यूल इन ए पोली एटोमिक मोलिक्यूल कंटेन मोर देन टू एटम्स एवरी टू बॉन्डेड एटम्स हैव देयर ट्राइपोल मोमेंट इज कॉल्ड बॉन्ड मोमेंट द नेट डाइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ द पोली एटोमिक मोलिक्यूल इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ द डिफरेंट बॉन्ड मोमेंट द रिजल्टेंट विल डिपेंड अपॉन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द बॉन्ड दस इफ ए मोलिक्यूल ए बी टू कंटेन टू ए बी बॉन्ड एट एन एंगल ऑफ थीटा एंड म्यू ए बी इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द एच बॉन्ड मोलिक्यूल दैन द डाइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ द मोलिक्यूल विल बी म्यू इज इक्वल टू टू म्यू ए बी कोस थीटा स्टार बाय टू एज म्यू इज नोन फ्रॉम द एक्सपेरिमेंट देयर फॉर नोइंग द वैल्यू ऑफ द थीटा द मैथड इज यूजली यूज फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ द बॉन्ड मोमेंट अल्टरनेटली नोइंग द वैल्यू ऑफ द म्यू एंड द म्यू ए बी द मैथड कैन बी यूज फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ थीटा एंड हैंस फॉर प्रिडिक्टिंग द शेप ऑफ द मोलिक्यूल्स एक्सपेरिमेंटली ऑब्जर्व वैल्यू ऑफ डिफरेंट मोमेंट्स of some common molecules and calculated value of bond moment of some common bonded as shown in this figure table next one the resultant dipole moment of the group like nso2 nh2 ch3 etc has also been reported these are called group moment the values depend upon whether the group is attached to an alkyl radical or aryl radical the value of the few groups are given below next one electrical polarization of the molecule every molecule is made up of positively charged nuclei and negatively charged electron cloud as shown in figure the center of positive charge coincide with the center of negative charge hence when such a molecule is introduced between the two plate of an electric field the positively charged nuclei and the center of the positive charge is attracted toward the negative charge whereas the negatively charged electron cloud is attracted toward the positive plate of the electric field as a result the molecule get distorted as shown in figure this is called polarization of the molecule and the distorted molecule with positive and the negative end is called an electric dipole the molecule remains polarized so long as the electric field is applied but goes back to the original state as soon as the electric field is switched off that is why this type of polarization is called introduced polarization and the electric dipole formed is called induced dipole after polarizing the molecule is neutral as a whole it means that the positive charge on one end must be equal to the negative charge on the other suppose this charge is q if the distance d between the separation of the charges then the dipole moment of the induced dipole will be given as mu is equal to q into d eventually the value of mu i will depend upon the nature of the molecule and strength of the electric field says x then mu is mu i is equal to alpha into x after solving these values alpha is further found to be related to the dielectric constant d of the medium present between the plates these molecules being studied according to the equation clausius and mohs which is equal to t minus 1 divided by d plus 2 multiplied by m by rho is equal to 4 by 3 pi n multiplied by alpha m is the molar mass of the molecule rho is the density of the molecule and n is the avogadro number now clausius mosostis equation suppose an electrostatic field is applied to the two plates so that there are charged they are charged suppose the strength of the uniform electric field produced between them is equal to e not if non polar medium is placed between the plates strength of the electric field will be reduced to e because the induced dipole 
act in the opposite of the applied field and hence partially neutralize the charge of the plate as shown in figure. The ratio of E0 by E is called the dielectric constant T of the medium for electrostatic it can be shown as E is equal to E0 is equal to E plus 4 pi I where I is the induced dipole moment per unit volume I is equal to mu I into N mu i is induced dipole moment in a single medium and n is the number of the molecule per cc divided equation both side by e we get e naught by e is equal to d then by solving d minus 1 multiply by e is equal to 4 pi i the density of the electric field strength x acting on each molecule is calculated by supposing that the charge unit is enclosed in small in small spheric, spherical cavity which is, is large as compared to the size of the molecule but small in comparison with the distance between the plates. The electrical density X is then made up of the following parts. First, the strength of the charge on the plate is equal to E0. The charge induced on the surface of the electric dielectrics in contact with the plate is equal to minus 4i. The charge induced on the surface of the spherical cavity is equal to plus 4 by 3 pi i. X is equal to E0 plus 4 by 3 pi i minus 4 pi i. Substitute these equations. We get E plus 4 by 3 pi i. After solving x, we get d plus 2 by 3 multiplied by e. From those equations, e plus 4 by 3 pi i is equal to d plus 2 divided by 3 multiplied by e. We are solving, we are solving these equations and putting i is equal to mu i into n and alpha x n into n which is already defined mu i is equal to alpha x n. And then by putting these values in this, we get the value d minus 1 by d plus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 alpha uh, pi n alpha. If rho is the density of the substance placed between the charged plate, charged plate and m is its molar mass, then molar value of the substance is equal to m by rho. If n represent Avogadro's number, Vol number of the molecules per unit volume is equal to n by capital N divided by m by rho that is n rho by m after so putting this equation in the above equation we get the whole equation pi or pd is equal to d minus 1 by d plus 2 multiplied by multiplied by m divided by rho the induced molecular mass is defined as the amount of the polarization produced in one mole of the substance when placed between the plate of the electric field of the strength. Now discuss about the effect of temperature on polarization. Value of various polarization has been determined for a number of the substances. It is found that their molar mass or molar polarization of number of substances such as O2 N2, CO2, CH4, etc. constant and independent of temperature polarization values for some other substances such as HCl, CHCl3, C6H5NO2 does not out to be constant but it decreases with the increase of the temperature. In case of molecules such as HCl, CHCl3, etc. their center of positive and negative charge do not coincide with each other. Thus, they possess some dipole moment even in the absence of electric field. The dipole moment thus possessed by the molecule is permanent dipole moment. In the absence of electric field, these permanent dipole are oriented in random manner due to thermal agation as shown this figure. However, presence of electric field distributed takes place. First, electric field will tend to rotate and orient these dipole in the direction of the field second electric field will tend to polarize of the molecules thank you so much